there it is. There is the portal, and it looks like there is, in fact, a pumping operation going on down there. Hmm. Now, let's see, can I put these fires out? Uh, I'm curious as to whose base this goes to. So, I'm just gonna sneaky sneak my way around here, grab this cobalt, and see if uh, <laughs> I can find out where this goes. I am not seeing any um any uh ooh there are spiders and crap all over the place. Damn. Uh can I knock this spider off? No, oh, go away, stupid ghast. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I really should come back once I have uh, some actual stuff I can do. Damn it, where'd my tunnel go? Uh, damn, gas, go away. Ah, no. Oh, stupid gas. <laughs> you know, a good idea might actually be to build an airship. I don't know if they work in the nether, but if they do. I might be able to fly around and try and find another fortress. Ah, crap. Uh, okay. I think I'm just gonna say screw it and head back. Because there's n I'm not seeing any nether fortresses, not even a hint of a nether fortress anywhere here. And it is gonna be a pain in the butt to try and uh, find one without being able to fly around. So... I think I'm just going to say, screw this, and uh, head back. I got my nether quartz. I got some soul sand. I got a few more things. Is he chasing me? Go away. Go away, stupid ghast. Uh, damn it. Um, let's see. Can I get back up over here? Ow. 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 Ah! Fire again. Stupid bat. Let's see, my portal was up here. So, let me grab this, uh, this stuff. I want to grab this. Here we go. Grab a bit more glowstone while I'm here. And I'm going to try and make my way back up to my portal. And I think I will come back once I'm actually back in the overworld. Here we are, back at the portal. Okay, back at the portal, here we go. Uh, oh, damn it. I really do need to invest in, oh crap, run, oh crap, what the hell, what the hell? Ah, ooh, uh, ooh, 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 um, water, water, damn it. Freaking stupid zombies, die, die zombie. Freaking stupid zombies. They're just standing there at my portal. What the hell? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. Um, yeah. Next time I go in there, I'm going to try and uh, build, try and take this um, airship with me. So I can fly around. Maybe make my way back to that other guy's portal. See, who, see whose base that goes to. And maybe have a look at their their place, and try and find a Nether fortress because I want to get some the uh, necrotic bones that the Wither skeletons drop. So yeah, but for now I think I'm gonna head back in here and see what I can find. Okay, what did I actually? accomplished by going to the nether today. Um, virtually nothing. I got some nether quartz, and I got some soul sand, which is worthless because I can't scan it. I was really hoping I'd be able to just scan this. Oh, I need to find that ghost stuff. And I still can't scan any of this stuff. No. I was hoping some of the stuff I scanned would unlock something new. But apparently not. 
Anything? No. No, no, no. Nothing. Ah. Because I need to figure out what it is I need to do for... Let's see, where is it? Here it is. Because I want to do some research, some more advanced research, on some stuff like uh, research expertise. Because I believe research expertise actually allows you to do research more efficiently. So you do research. Every time you do research in the research table, it uses up these aspects. And you have to... And let's see, as I as you can see, I only have one granum, which is a seed aspect. And once that's gone, I'm completely out of it. So I need to get more before I can do more research that requires it. And the uh, uh, research expertise, I believe, reduces the cost of doing that. Now, something else I figured out is, as you can see, all the stuff that's... Uh, like this is stuff I have already it's already learned that stuff I already know I can just click on it and read it and figure, and see what it is but stuff that's flashing like this is stuff that I can research so I have stuff I can uh, click on to get research notes for just like this and stuff that's grayed out like this is stuff I can't research and I have to go through and get the research expertise before I can go to this or this or any of this stuff and after research advanced node tapping before I can get to this and stuff like that now research notes you can take and put into the research table like this and the basic idea is you use these uh, aspects you drag them over to these these uh, slots here and you use them to connect up with these two question marks now I don't know exactly what it is these two question marks are so making my way to them is a bit tricky because the way it works is you need to use an aspect to connect these up in, in a chain so I need I start off with this, which is um, uh, ordo order regularity and purity, and in order to get a square here or here, I need to um, use an aspect that is a a composite of ordo and something else. Now, what that is I don't know, and then I connect that one up with a composite or, an, or a component that is part of whatever I used here. So let's say Ordo is a uh, used to make jellum, which is ice. So I can connect, I can put a I could put ice here and then I could put another Ordo here. Or I could put something that's uh, used to or I could put an aqua next to it then something that uses aqua like motus the problem is I could go gellum aqua motus and try and connect it up to this but unfortunately I don't know what this is this question mark so until I figure that out just putting random stuff here would waste it because every time you put it here it's used up it uses one of them so and every time I do it it uh, uses one up so I don't know what these are I don't know what the end thing right here is that I need to make a chain to I don't know if it's because I just haven't researched just haven't scanned enough stuff to actually know what it is or if I don't know what it is until I actually try and make a chain to it. If it's because I haven't scanned enough stuff to know what this stuff is, what these two question marks aspects are, then that just means I need to go around scanning more stuff until I find them. But either way, I I need to look 
more into it. I still need to do more research. I need to more research on the mod itself, not just research on the table. But yeah, the basic that's the basic idea of it, of how the research works. I take aspects from here, put them in the squares, in the little slots, and try and make a chain with them to this. And once I complete the chain and get to these two points, it creates the research, and I get research completed and I can right click on it learn it and it'll give me whatever the hell this is and then I'll be able to move on to whatever this is and once I get this I can move on to this and so on and so forth and the same with all the other stuff in all of these tabs and tabs here oops I didn't want not want to do that uh, let me see what this one is aha it, it I think it actually is. That's, that's what was wrong with its research notes. I These question marks mean I have not discovered, I have not used my thaw meter to actually discover what these uh, two aspects are, so I don't know what they are, so I can't make a chain to it. But I do have these. I do have the magic and the metal aspects, which means I just need to... Need to uh, create a chain to it. So let's see. Metal and magic. What connects these two? Let's look at our book. Uh, metal and magic. Here we go. Magic is made up of vacuous and potentia. And metal... Where's metal? Uh, did I miss metal already? Saxum and Ordo. So I need to find something that has potentia vacuous and ordo saxum. Hmm. Let's see. So I need six of them. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So. Saxum. Get rid of this. So vacuous. Vacuous air. Herba. Two, three, four, five, six. Vacuous. It was vacuous, then air. Then what was it? Vacuous air. What did I figure out? I figured it out, I think. Vacuous air or arbor, then herba. Vacuous air, arbor, herba, earth, terra. Yes! Got it! Finally! Oh, I finally figured it out. There we go. That's how you do it. It took me forever. Oh, I'll probably have to edit out a lot of that, me being a dumbass, for past half an hour trying to figure this out. But yeah, that's how you do it. You just have to create a chain. I was thinking too simply. I was trying to go one, two, three, and there's just no combination to get that three. But yeah, I had to connect it from there with a component which was vacuous and a component from there which was air and then I used that component into another one which was combined into a arbor and arbor's component was herba herba which is a, has components of earth terra which is a component of saxum which is a component of metallum, which is that last piece. Oh, damn, that's a... That was a fairly long chain, and there's probably a way to do that much simpler and with far less materials, waste, more, far less uh, stuff wasted, but I finally discovered magical metallurgy, which is very nice. Now, I think I just have to right-click it, 
magical metallurgy uh, learned. And let's see what I got. Where is it? Here it is. Magical metallurgy. Metals have proven to be quite easy to manipulate via thermaturgical principles. Your first experiments have led to the discovery of thomium, which basically means I need to uh, have a crucible with iron ingots and four precantatio, which is the magic stuff. And now I can make thomium ingots, as well as all the thomium tools, such as uh, the pickaxe and the shovels and all the armor and like that. Which is very nice. Uh, not really something I was really going for right now, but I figured out how to do the research. I figured it out. Took me a while. Wasted a lot of materials, a lot of uh, aspects to do it, but I figured it out. And I'm probably not going to show all this on camera again because me just sitting there trying to figure out the chain of materials needed to go through to get to that point. Oh man, that was... <laughs> it took so friggin' long to figure that out. Ugh. But yeah. Anyway, I am gonna try and figure out what aspects it is I still need to find in order to... because if that last research was any indication these question marks are supposed to be visible, which means I'm supposed to know what these aspects are in order to be able to make a chain to them. So I really do need to figure out what aspects it is I still need to find. I know I still need a ghost one from the soul sand, but I don't know what goes into the ghost, and it's probably something I have not discovered yet. So I'll, I just need to keep lurking, keep scanning, keep trying to find out what it is I need. But until then, I'm basically at a dead end right now. I mean, I could keep researching random stuff in here. Random, uh, could start looking into all this kind of stuff. But I, I want to get, I think, as I said before, the research expertise reduces the cost of actually doing research. So I want to get that before I uh, really get into it because I'm starting to run out of aspects and I'm not really sure how to get more. So until then, I'm just going to keep scanning while I'm running around. But yeah, um, what I think I'm going to do right now is maybe something, I don't know. I might actually uh, cut right here, see if I can find out. I might actually go and look up a list of stuff I need to scan. Because I have scanned everything I could possibly think of in order to unlock what I need. I can't find it. So, I really don't want to just waste random aspects trying to discover what it is when I have no idea. So I'm, I'm just, I might go look that up or whatever, but for now, I think I'm done, and I'm going to take a break, maybe come back later, and see what I can do. But until then, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.